G'day, welcome to Two Minute Tips on odt.co.nz. Out on location this week uh, at a lovely uh, Wingatoo Racecourse Wednesday afternoon. A nice twilight meeting here. Uh, good track, good fields. Uh, so hopefully, people we, we, who we who were here today uh, certainly enjoy themselves. Anyway, there's a whole host of uh, races this weekend to get through, so I thought we'd uh, just jump into it pretty quickly. First race we're heading to is uh, at the Southland Racing Club's been at Winton on Saturday. Of course, it's been moved due to track issues at uh, Ascot Park. Park. But I thought the horse you'd have to look for here in the Open 1200, which is race six at 3.17, is number three, Cope Darcy B. Second on the form line from last start. That was from Cromwell. Ran second behind Quira. Now, bear in mind, Karen 57.5 kgs uh, this week. Um, but last week was supposed to carry 63 and a half, had a three kilo claim on it, but still carried 60 and a half, which was a great effort behind uh, Kra, which was carrying about 53. So big weight swing here. Certainly gets back into it a wee bit, a lot better, I feel, and should relish the 1200 meters. And no reason why uh, she can't win. So, or he rather. So let's have a look at that run at uh, Cromwell, running second to Kra. Look out for the Michael Pittman colours. But Kra still three links in front of Cope Darcy B. That was EV News Flash and Five Kings fight out the miners because Kra, the favourite, is going to clean them up in the last. Kra wins by four. Cope Darcy B second. Five Kings monstrous into third. In terms of the other video, we're heading to the harness, of course. Uh, race 10 at Alexandra Park on Friday night. Uh, number nine, have faith in me. I'm not being particularly brave here, to be honest. We know he's potentially the best pacer in Australasia. He'll probably take over that mantle in the next 12 months, uh, as long as he stays sound during that period. Uh, this is a bit of a lead up, slow lead up towards uh, potentially the Auckland Cup for him, as long as he sorts out a standing start. This is a mobile pace, however. He's following out Huey Green, who just looks like an absolute beast of a horse since he came back from a long break. Uh, he, re he resumed with a win uh, off the stand at Alex Park, but uh, yeah, have faith in me, we'll follow him out, which will be a massive bonus. You'd imagine Huey Green will lead, have faith in me, we'll just sit in the trail and hopefully go Wooshka for uh, various punters. So let's have a look at that win that uh, have faith in me had back on Cup Day in the junior free-for-all, still doing things wrong, but doing it easily. 27-7 the third quarter, have faith in me, two links on Art Union who can't go with him, bit of a legend, bit of dream run on, have faith in me leads, margin a length and a half over bit of a legend and better dream, but on the inside it's have faith in me, full eternal power here, and have faith in me won the junior free for all. As I said, an absolute stack of racing this weekend. Uh, there was already three, uh, five meetings, I think, in total on Thursday. But you head towards the weekend. You've got uh, Forbury Park Friday night, Alex Park Friday night. Uh, head to Saturday, you've got Tarapa, big meeting there, a big Christmas of the races meeting. The aforementioned Southland racing uh, meeting at Winton. Uh, there's another, I think, at Palms Awapuni on Saturday as well. But as, as for Sunday, we'll move on to that. You've got Banks Peninsula Harness, massive meeting for the Akaroa Club. Uh, and also the Inter Dominions. Uh, the final will be about 8.45 on Sunday night New Zealand time. Sure, there hasn't been a whole stack of New Zealand interest in it, but uh, it'll still be a, a great final from Gloucester Park. So until then, uh, we will take a break for a few weeks, obviously with uh, Christmas racing coming up and been pretty busy over that time. So we'll probably see you in about mid-January. Until then, all the best.